Hello everyone, welcome to the US Marine Channel. Reaper is primarily used as an intelligence gathering asset and secondarily against dynamic execution targets. Given their significant dwell time, extensive sensors, multi-mode communication suite, and precision weaponry, they provide a unique capability to strike, coordinate, and reconnaissance against high-value, fleeting, and time-sensitive targets. Reaper can also perform missions such as intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, close air support, combat search and rescue, precision strike, buddy leasing, convoy and raid surveillance, route clearance, target development, and terminal air guidance. The MQ-9's ability to conduct irregular warfare operations in support of combatant commander objectives. The MQ-9 is capable of conducting irregular warfare operations in support of the combatant commander's objectives. Reaper is part of a remotely piloted aircraft system. A fully operational system consists of an aircraft equipped with sensors and weapons, a ground control station, a Predator primary satellite link, spare equipment, and an operations and maintenance crew for a 24-hour deployed mission. The basic crew consists of a rated pilot who flies the aircraft and directs the mission, and a junior crew member who operates the sensors and guides the weapons. To meet the combat commander's requirements, the Reaper provides customized capabilities using mission kits containing various weapon and sensor payload combinations. The MQ-9 baseline system incorporates a multi-spectral targeting system with a powerful suite of visual sensors for aiming. The MTSB integrates infrared sensors, color and monochrome daylight television cameras, shortwave infrared cameras, laser designators, Laser Illuminators, the system is designed to full motion video from each imaging sensor can be viewed as separate video streams or fused together. The unit also incorporates a laser rangefinder, Diginator that precisely designates targets for use with laser-guided munitions, such as the Guided Bomb Unit 12 Paveway 2. The Reaper is also equipped with a synthetic aperture radar. The MQ-9 can also use up to 8 air-to-ground missile 114 Hellfire laser-guided missiles for high accuracy, low damage, anti-armor and anti-personnel engagement capability. The remotely piloted aircraft can be disassembled and loaded into a single container and deployed worldwide. The entire system can be transported by C-130 Hercules or larger aircraft. The MQ-9 provides line-of-sight communications during takeoff and landing from standard U.S. airfields to ground data terminal antennas. The PPSL provides over-the-horizon communications to the aircraft and sensors. The MQ-9 has also been modified for extended range operations by adding an external fuel tank capable of carrying 1,300 pounds of fuel. This allows for longer parking time and extended range. To improve takeoff performance, blades were added to the propeller and an alcohol water injection system was added. The main operational concept, remote split operations, uses a launch and recovery ground control station for takeoff and landing at a forward operating base while the crew on the U.S. mainland provides command and control for the remainder of the mission via an out-of-sight link. Remote split operations simplify the command and control function as well as the logistical resupply challenges of weapon systems because fewer personnel are deployed to the forward operating base and control of the different flights is centralized at a base in the United States.